classes tomorrow are canceled at Timberview High School. The principal sent a letter to families saying the community needs time to heal after a student opened fire, injuring four people in class this morning. Crime scene tape still wrapped around Timberview High School hours after the all clear was given by police and parents were able to finally reunite with their students. You never know when it's going to be your last day. So I'm very thankful to have my daughter with me. Multiple 911 calls came in from inside the school around 915 Wednesday morning. Officials say four people were shot, three were hospitalized, including a 15 year old who's in the ICU but expected to be OK. The search for the shooter, 18 year old Timothy Simpkins, lasted hours before he turned himself in with an attorney after 1 p.m. Police say a gun was found two miles from the high school in Grand Prairie. That firearm is now with ATF for ballistics testing. What we believe happened preliminary is that there was a fight between a student and another individual in a class and a gun was used. While the school was on lockdown, students, teachers and staff barricaded in the classroom until the all clear was given. About 1700 students were then escorted to buses that took them to a nearby performance arts center to be reunited with parents. As soon as I heard from him, I was texting him. I just told him, I was like, keep your head down, do not move and stay put. Um, I've heard from other parents of, our, of his friends, um, text messages from them were gut wrenching. The school district said there aren't metal detectors on campus. Two officers who were at the school when the shooting happened were able to respond immediately. The principal canceled classes for Thursday. This is not a random act of violence. This is not somebody attacking our schools. Simpkins was charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Victim services and counseling will be available here at the school, at a local church, and even available online for any student who may need it. For the National Desk, I'm Jordan Bonke, America's News Now.